D.C. police are investigating a string of bank burglaries. Yeah, they are looking for suspects who damaged ATM machines and then broke into banks all in the same day. Our Nana Senya Bonsu live in Northwest with what we know and who police are looking for. Nana. Nana Centurio Bonsu. Jim and Angie, good evening at this MNT bank here in Adams Morgan is where DC police say suspects broke in with some kind of crowbar. This is the second place they hit in one night within an hour. I saw that the entire ATM had like come out of the hole that it was in there. That hole is now boarded up after police say two men tried to break into this Wells Fargo ATM machine on the corner of Pennsylvania and Potomac Avenue around 340 Friday morning. Mm. It looked like someone had tied something to it and literally tugged it out and pulled it out of the wall. There was an officer in the area who spotted the men in ski masks get away in a black Dodge Durango with Virginia tags with the ATM in the trunk. Less than an hour later, the suspects were spotted five miles away at this PNC on Massachusetts near DuPont Circle Metro Station. Police say the suspects broke into this small structure where the ATM is located. They used a sledgehammer to destroy surveillance video and pried open the ATM from the back. You can see some of the damage here in the front. I use um, PNC Bank, so I like to come here. This ATM that is no longer in service is Miss Lewis's go-to in the city. I came from work. I work in Baltimore. I came off at Union Station and had to come all the way up here then to know that it's not. This is closer than walking all the way around. So, you know, it's, it's, it's an inconvenience to do this, really, to just come and then to know that it's not working. After damaging the PNC ATM, the suspects continued a mile away to Connecticut. A witness nearby tells police that they saw the suspects on your screen use a sledgehammer to enter the bank through this steel door at the back. Someone else reported shattered glass inside the bank. According to police, the suspects destroyed a bank safe worth $10,000. The suspects left the scene in a car that was waiting nearby. That's pretty dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> those are what those kind are, of shitty ass alarm system do they have? Those are those are pretty nice neighborhoods, right? I mean, Adams Morgan, yeah, and gentrified and Dupont Circle. I know is real nice, and you know, <laughs> yeah. But here's the thing: Sunmen used to never go to those places. So you would never see Sun people that weren't working in on Connecticut Avenue. But the 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 riots of 2020. They had a lot of protest up there, and some men went up there, and they see gliders spray painting stuff and breaking windows, and it kind of like they lost respect for these areas. So now some men go to these areas and hang out, and you know what I'm saying, and mill around because, like, it's not prestigious anymore. We 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 were walking down the street with a hundred gliders breaking shit and spray painting shit, and yelling "fuck the police" for a whole summer. Up here. Now, right now, it is unclear how much the suspects got away with or if they got away with anything at all. But all we know is that police are looking for the man that we showed you on your screens. Anyone with information is asked to call police. Back to you guys.